Elon Musk's boring company becomes frontrunner for Ontario Airport High Speed Tunnel. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. It appears that Elon Musk's tunneling startup, The Boring Company, is poised to secure a high profile contract to build the Ontario Airport Loop, a high speed transport tunnel connecting Rancho Cucamonga with the Ontario International Airport. The Boring Company's tunnel will be a faster and more cost effective alternative to above ground rail projects which were previously proposed for the route. The new boring company project has received widespread support from the San Bernardino Country Transportation Authority's board of directors who voted unanimously in favor of the system. As noted by the Mercury News, the board of directors also directed staff to postpone a 3 million study that explores other airport rail connection options. According to San Bernardino country supervisor Kurt Hagman, the boring company's transport tunnels are a great affordable alternative to more traditional rail systems which take far longer to construct. Hagman was actually able to see the boring company's technology in person having visited the startup's Hawthorne site and taken a test ride through the test tunnel. If you remember recently the Hawthorne site was again in the news because uh, it was featured in Jay Leno's Garage Cybertruck uh, episode in which Jay Leno and Elon Musk the Tesla CEO together of the Cybertruck through the uh, Boring Company's tunnel uh, uh, in Hawthorne. It gets us thinking in a new way. This is something that can be done relatively quickly and inexpensively, Hagman said. The Boring Company's Rancho Cucamonga Ontario Airport tunnel will be 2.8 miles long. The tunnels themselves will be 14 feet in diameter and about 30 five feet underground. For now, the proposal involves using electric vehicles with rubber tires traveling up to 127 miles per hour from point to point, though plans are reportedly also underway to introduce electric vents for the transport system. These electric vans are capable of seating up to 12 people and their luggage. The vehicles which are being developed by Tesla will boost the capacity of the system to about 1,200 per day or over 10 million per year provided that they see a mass rollout. These electric vans seem very similar to the boring company's mass transport units that were mentioned back when the startup was being considered for the Chicago Airport Transit Line. Now, speaking of electric vans, do you remember, did you see uh, or watch the story I reported yesterday in which uh, the report, it was basically breaking news that GM is working on developing an electric van to preempt Tesla. So the story in Tesla Radi says that Tesla is already developing electric vans, but not probably for mass transport um, on, on mass. But I don't know. I have no idea what Tesla is doing with electric vans, but this is a segment they may want to enter. This is why GM is doing this right now to preempt Tesla. So check back my report that I filed yesterday about GM's electric vans. The Ontario airport loop is expected to cost between 45 to $60 million, though the project's entire cost could reach about $75 million when the price of adding an operations center, management services and operators wages is added. Yet, despite this, $75 million is still a far cry from the estimated $1 to $1.5 billion light rail extension that was also being considered. Where is $75 million and where is $1 billion? The Boring Company's Ontario Airport Loop is expected to be completed in about four years, far quicker than the 10 years that the construction of a light rail extension requires. Kerry Schindler, SBCTA Director of Transit and Rail, explained this in a statement to local news outlets. It is much more cost effective. I do anticipate the need for outside funding, but at a reduced level as compared to building surface projects, the transit and rail director said. The boring company may have only been around for a few years, but the tunneling startup seems to be hitting its strides with its project. 
Prior to the Ontario Airport Loop, the Boring Company has been contracted to build a loop system for the Las Vegas Convention Center, which would allow visitors to the expensive, expensive site to travel from one end to the other complex to the other in just a few minutes. The progress of the Las Vegas Loop has been quick, with the digging of both tunnels being completed recently, and now Tesla working on extending the uh, actually working on uh, building the upper level stations where the cars will come and uh, be lowered to the ground as well as the news just came out this morning and yesterday that Tesla has applied to extend the Las Vegas uh, tunnel and uh, there is more detail on that that I may report later today. Have a wonderful day friends. I'll see you soon in our next uh, report. Let me know what you think about Tesla's electric minivans that I reported in this story. Do you think it's a possibility? And uh, in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan for TorqueNews.com. This is a developing story, so please subscribe to our channel so you may be updated when I have my other reports on this topic. And I'll see you in our next report. Have a wonderful Friday. God bless you and I'll see you soon.